Here's another example of a number problem. In this case, we're adding three numbers together, and numbers are even integers, and they need to be consecutive. So a consecutive even integer, hmm, what is that? Well, that means they must be even, so 2, 4, 6, 8, and so forth. And if they're consecutive and we want to write that algebraically, we always must add 2 to it because the difference between one consecutive even in integer and the other one is 2. So if we're going to let x equal the smallest, then x plus 2 must equal the next even integer. And then x plus 4 must then equal, equal, equal the next even integer again. So these are the three integers I'm going to add. If the first one is 2, the next one will be 4, the next one will be 6. If the first one is 10, the next one will be 12, the next one will be 14, and so forth. So that means that x plus, and I'll put parentheses around it, x plus 2 plus x plus 4 must add up to 258. So this is how I write in algebraic terms that I'm adding three consecutive even integers so they all must be two apart from one another. Getting rid of the parentheses, I get x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals 258. And then, of course, I use my algebraic techniques. That means I move all my x's to the left side, all the numbers to the other side. I have an x plus an x plus an x. I have a 3x on the left side equals 258 minus 2, minus 4. Remember, whenever I move numbers to the other side of the equation, I change the sign. I combine the numbers on the right side, so I get 3x is equal to 258 minus 2, minus 4. That would be 252. And finally, I divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals, that's a 34. Oh, not 34. 84. And again, quickly to check if I did this correctly, if I multiply 3 times 80, I get 240. 3 times 4, I get 12. 240 plus 12, that's 252. And that should be correct. So that means the three numbers are the smallest, that's equal to 84. The next is 84 plus 2, which is 86. And the next, 84 plus 4, which is 88. And again, just to make sure I did this correctly, I'm going to add those three numbers together. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 8 is 18. 8 carry the 1, 258. And sure enough, I get the same answer that I should over here. So I did this problem correctly.